Now friends, uh, let's say the set of problems. Uh, this is based on Venn diagrams or we can say set theory as well. In a survey, 100 people were asked about their favorite holiday spot in India among three places, Goa, Shimla or Kashmir. All the people had at least one of these three spots as their favorite one. 90 people named Goa as their favorite spot, 80 people named Shimla and 80 people named Kashmir. Right now, some four questions are based on uh, this given information. So, first of all, let's draw the Venn diagram to uh, represent the data. Now, uh, this is Goa, this is Shimla, this is Kashmir. Right? I name the areas X, Y, Z, A, B. C and D. You must attend the basic session of Venn diagrams uh, so the concept will be better cleared in your mind. Here, uh, this X, Y and Z are the number of people who just chose one uh, spot as their destination. Suppose X is the number of the person who just like Goa as their favorite destination. Okay. okay. Similarly, A the people on A shows the number of people, uh, those who like Goa and Shimla, both of uh, them as their destination, right? Similarly, the other ones, okay? Now, um, the total of all the three circles should be 100, right? I just write the equation over here, X plus Y plus Z plus A plus B plus C plus D should be 100, okay? Apart from that, we have been given uh, the total of this circle that is Goa, that's 90, uh, 80 Shimla and 80 Kashmir. So X plus A plus B plus D, X plus A plus B plus D must be 90, then A plus Z plus C plus D must be that is Shimla that's 80 and Y plus B plus C should also be 80 right if we add all of them we'll be getting X plus Y plus Z plus 2 times A 2 times B 2 times C and 3 times D and that is 80 plus 80 160 plus 90 250 right so we have got one relation this and one relation this now if we subtract this equation from this equation we will be getting a plus b plus c plus 2d is equal to 150 right now let's take the questions one by one here the questions are based on maximum and minimum values here the first is determine the maximum number of people who could have named all the three places as their favorite so in this case we have to find out the maximum value of d right because d is the number of persons who liked all the three places right so since we have this equation a plus b plus c plus 2d is equal to 150 and other relation a plus b plus c plus d that should be less than equal to 100 that is also true because in any case the entire set of values should not sum more than 100 right so even a plus b plus c plus d at max it can be 100 right now a plus b plus c plus 2d is 150 and we have to find out the maximum value of d right so to find out the maximum value of d what we can do uh, if a plus b plus c is zero that means nobody is liking exactly two places a b and c right so if a plus b plus c is zero 2d will be 150 that means d is equal to 75 right so the maximum number of people who could have named all the three places as their favorite is 75 and here simultaneously we are asked determine the minimum number of people who could have named exactly two places as their favorite right so when uh, a plus b plus c we can see that it can be zero and when d is 75 so minimum value of a plus b plus c that is number of people who could have named exactly two places that's zero okay now next question is determine the minimum number of people who could have named all the three places as their favorite. So we have to find out the minimum value of D, right? So minimum value of D, see A plus B plus uh, C plus D should be less than 
equal to 100 and a plus b plus c plus 2d is 150 right so at max a plus b plus c plus d is 100 right if a plus b plus c plus d is 100 and if i put the value of a plus b plus c plus d as 100 i'll be getting d as 50 right so minimum value of d should be 50 because we have taken maximum value of a plus b plus c plus d right so if a plus b plus c plus d maximum it is 100 then minimum value of d should be 50 right you just have to deduct uh, this equation from this okay so we'll be getting the value of d that is the minimum value right now to find out the min maximum value of a plus b plus c we've uh, put up the minimum value of d that's 50 so in that case we'll be able to get the maximum value of a plus b plus c right so a plus b plus c plus d when d is 50 a plus b plus c must be 50 right so maximum uh, number of people who could have named exactly two places as their favorite is 50 okay so you can very well see uh, from this equation a plus b plus c plus 2d is equal to 150 we solve these two questions right this one and this one maximum here and minimum here in the other case using these two relations we find found out minimum over here and maximum over here right so this is the rule of addition actually uh, when one data uh, gives the if you take the minimum value of this data to maintain the sum you will get the maximum value of this data the same funda we have used over here if you are not clear for the first time with the explanation do revise it once again that's really interesting and easy problem okay